Another place we're going to end up with uh, in a short offense position is pulling this guy down to the mat. Okay, pulling him down to the mat, so I'm forcing him to get to his knees where I can score from short offense. And a lot of times this will happen uh, either from a collar tie position, or I can bring his head to my other hand. Okay, and, and this is a, I think a good drill, he can do a lot. You make sure I'm here, I'm, I'm, I'm at a collar tie, I'm on his head, I'm wrist deep here, I'm not on the neck, I'm on the head. And all I'm gonna do to start off is I'm gonna pull that hand, this head to my other hand, here. And at the same time, I always put that leg back. I'm always taking that leg away, just, just so I don't come in here like this and he drops in on it, okay? It's just a, just a little thing to add to this drill. We're here, pull it, leg away. And if you notice when I pull it in there, my elbow is still tight to my body, I'm just going to the chin, okay? I don't want this elbow real deep in here. I want it tight to my body. I want elbow high right here. I want a high elbow here, taking that leg away, I'm just right at the chin. Okay, then I'll do the other side. We'll come here. Head, chin, taking that leg away, okay? Keeping his head underneath my chest, all right? I don't want his head popping out underneath here, all right? Elbows tight to my body. Keeping that head underneath, boom, right here. Just like this. Notice his head is right underneath my chest right here. My elbows are still tight. He's not peeking out either side right now, okay? So there's a couple things just to work on, just to get started. Number one is gonna be down blocking, coming here, Blocking that shot, number two, just being able to pull his head down. We're not even pulling him all the way to the mat yet. We're just pulling his head down. Okay, so again, the down block, I'm here. <clears throat> Taking that leg away, getting the hand in between us, getting a down block. And the reason we do that is because defense right here is a lot easier than right here. Just like that. There's a big difference between me and being above this arm as compared to between right here. Now I'm in between, I've got some space. That's a huge difference right there, okay? So that's one good drill I think you can do a lot. And again, up here we're gonna go collar tie, boom, pull it out here. Again, here, good position, here. Again, here. Just get good at that drill right there. Now you can add to it a little bit. Good guy, most likely it's gonna be hard for me just to pull him right here. Okay, so might get him to react a little bit, just a little fake, pull him down. That's all you need is a little bit of motion right there. Get him to step. He gets a little top heavy, you can pull him down. Right in here, just a little fake, okay? He takes a step back, now he's a little top heavy. Pull him down. Make sure, just like anything, when you first do this, do it slow. There's no reason to rush this right now. Especially if you're a young guy, one of the first times you've worked on this drill, do it slow. One thing I'll see a lot when I, when I show this, guys have a tendency to try to pull the head with the same hand that they come over top with. So instead of bringing his head from one hand to the other, they'll try to go here, collar tie the right side and then come over top with the right side. Right here. That's Yeah, it's a real good place that we're probably gonna get ducked or he's gonna come underneath that elbow. Hard for me to pull him down and go here, right there. Because I have to lift my elbow up. I have to bring my chest and my elbow up right there and I don't wanna do that, okay? I'm bringing it down. I'm bringing one hand to the other, okay? This is like a football here. Here, boom, pull it down. Pull it down right underneath, okay? We can use our motion a little bit. Get in here, fake, boom, pulling it down. 